Hi, let's have a look at this um, question. I guess this is one of the similar questions to this year SBN MF KBAT questions. Yeah, quite a lot of students approached me to ask me about this question. So I decided to make a short video about this question. Right, so the diagram one actually sh uh, show a curve and then you can see there's a curve and a banner in the shapes or quilateral. I, I would call it as a rectangle. I, I think this F IMK should be a rectangle, but they use a quilateral to represent it. So given that G G to H is basically uh 2P, and then the gradient of the curve is uh 6 minus 2x. They ask us to prove about 3 plus P. Okay, so obviously this one is a quadratic equation. Uh you, you can understand this one by seeing the graph, or you can just integrate the uh, dy dx. Yeah, so this one is a quadratic equation. So uh, any quadratic, we have the turning point, right? So we know uh, this one will be a turning point. So turning point also we call maximum, right? Since we have the uh, dy dx equals to 2x, uh, 6 minus 2x, then we can find the turning point easily by, by make dy dx equal to 0, right? So 6 minus 2x will equal to 0, then you will get x equals to 3. Then at least I know we have an axis symmetry, which is this one, which is x equals to 3. Okay, then since they also tell us something, they, they tell us this one is basically, uh, length of this one is basically 2p, right? So you can see this axis symmetry basically divide this uh, rectangle into the two part, right? And these two parts should be the same one, I assume. Yeah, so then this one is p and this one is p. Okay, so A1, they ask us to do what? Uh, prove that e to h is 3 plus p. That means e to h will be 3 plus p. So since if this is this uh, x coordinate for this axis symmetry is 3, you can see from from here to from middle point to the i here is basically I need to plus a p value, right? E example is p is 2, then we know this one is like 3 plus 2, then we actually get 5, isn't it? So therefore, the x coordinate for the i, we call it, 3 plus p and y coordinate i do not know i call it y so therefore i know the coordinate of x coordinate of h must be 3 plus p as well isn't it so if this one is 3 plus p i assume this one is the x i said all right then this one will be zero so since they say e to h will be 3 plus p they ask us to prove it then i will just assume my y axis is on the e here so the e the co the coordinate e itself should be the uh axis symmetry uh should should be the origin. So the e here is the origin zero zero. The coordinate e here will be the origin. So therefore, if e is the origin, then from e to h is it three plus p? Yes, right. So therefore, yeah, you just show all this work working. Then yeah, you can see um since the coordinate h is 3 plus p0 and e is the origin then eh is 3 plus p proven of course i i believe they will give you the mark after you find out the uh, axis symmetry which is 3 then obviously this one is 3 plus p right actually it's quite o quite obvious like you ask me then sir what is the uh, I mean coordinate G is 3 minus P right because middle is a 3 here is minus P isn't it so this one is 3 minus P if I want to do that 3 minus P is 0 is a coordinate for G okay because the most difficult for this kind of question is you need to decide where is the x-axis and y-axis after you can do that then the rest of the question should be quite easy okay then the next thing is they ask us to find the area of the ba banner so they ba basically they want us to find the area for this rectangle so in order to find this, the area of this rectangle, uh, first thing is I know the length of the rectangle is basically 2p. Now I will need to find what is the height here. Okay, so the question will need to tell us is from i to the x axis, right? This is there's a one meter here. So later I want to find what is the y coordinate of i or y coordinate of f. Then I will minus one to know the uh, the the width of the rectangle. Okay, you get the idea. So I will need to have an equation first. So I will need to integrate the dy dx. So integrate six minus two x. 
So if I integrate this one, I should got something like um, 6x minus x squared plus c, isn't it? Okay, since they're passing through the origin, so I will sub zero, I will sub the zero zero into it. So I will sub the zero zero into it. So I should get y equals to six x squared, uh, six x minus x squared. Right? Because if I sub the zero into it, you should get all zero, isn't it? Yeah. So if you see carefully, yeah, you will get all zero here. Let me change other color la. Red color is not good. So you y is zero, six x is zero minus zero squared plus c. Then c will be zero. So therefore, this is my equation on the curve. So if this one is, a, is my equation on the curve, then I can find the f or i, right? If let's say I want to find i to get my so-called y coordinates, I just sum my x is 3 plus p into, into the x, right? So when x equals to 3 plus p, then I should get something like uh, y equals to 6 x plus p and then minus uh, x plus p squared, okay? So then I will just need to uh, sort of uh, expand this uh, expand this equation. So if I want to expand this one, okay, this is uh, what I will do. So this is 6x plus 6p and then minus, this one will expand x squared. Um, not x plus p, then it? 3 plus p, what am I doing? I mean x is 3 plus p, yes, yeah, sorry for that. So this one should be 3 plus p. So then this one is wrong also. Never mind. I'm going to redo it. So this is 3 plus p, 3 plus p. Then this is 18 plus 6p minus 9 plus 6p plus p square. Then 18 minus 9. After I minus, I should get 9. 6p minus 6p, no more already. Then minus p square. Okay, so this is the uh, y value of the i coordinate. So I got the y coordinates here is basically 9 minus p square, right? 9 minus p square. So but 9 minus p square is from the x axis to the coordinate i, right? But I only want to know the width of it. So since bottom here is 1, so I will say here will be 9 minus p square minus 1. So I will get 8 minus p square is the width of the rectangle. So that means here will be the 8 minus p square okay so this is the rectangle we are finding what f i m k f i m k okay so after we got this one then we just need to find the area should be uh, super easy so you just find the area by doing the uh, by doing the differentiation to find the maximum area and all that so yeah, let me just erase the unnecessary thing first. Okay, so let's continue. So the area will be 2p multiply 8 minus p square. So if I expand it, it should be something like 16p minus 2p cube. Okay, done. This is uh, the area they are looking for. Then what we want to do next is we already find the area L in terms of p. Yeah, they are not using the a here so i better follow them to use the l so that i can get the correct answer l l then b1 they ask us to find the maximum values of l so in order to find the maximum value of l we know basically is dl dp equals to zero right so if dl dp equals to zero this one should be 16 minus uh, 6p square equals to zero yep should be a over 3 and then square it Then what we want to do next is um, we want to sub this value back into the L to find the so-called the maximum uh, area. So L equals to 16 square root 8 over 3 minus 2 square root 8 over 3 power of 3. So you have type everything into the calculator. I will get something like um, 17.42 meter square. Okay, since over here they say hangs and find the maximum cost uh, of the banner in RM, if one meter square will cost about uh, 40 ringgit. So from here, basically, um, this one is already the maximum area I will get, right? So I will just use this number, multiply 40. So I will use the 17.42 multiply 40. Because this is the maximum area, right? 
So I basically use the maximum area to multiply each meter square how much it cost, right? So this one will be the costing. Uh. Then, yeah, then I will get the maximum costing. Use the maximum area, multiply maximum costing. It makes sense, right? So it should be maximum only will cost 696.80. Okay, so this is how we solve this kind of question. Um, I would say the most difficult part maybe is the part A1. Once you know where is the x axis and y axis, the rest of the thing should, shouldn't be too difficult. Okay, I hope this short, short video can help you understand about um, this kind of question. Right, I hope you find this video helpful. See you guys around in my YouTube channel. Have any question, post at the comment section below. Bye-bye.